News of the world. As the world once again prepares to be visited by Santa Claus, the man himself prepares for Christmas again. Here he is meeting with President Coolidge. It's a pleasure to greet you, Mr. Santa Claus. Of course, he still finds time to hear from the little ones, too. What would happen if the world lost Santa Claus? Hopefully, we'll never have to know. We interrupt this presentation of an hour of Christmas standards performed by Rick Bradley to bring you an important news bulletin. Santa Claus died peacefully in his sleep early this morning. Merry Christmas. I wonder what their problem was. We better hurry up if there are going to be any good trees left. I hope there's a big one. I think Dad went a little crazy on the ornaments this year. Now we're going to have to go to the one downtown. What is it? We should go home. Dad'll be worried. There's gotta be something that we can do. How can one person make a difference? Do you remember when we were kids and we met him at the Northbrook Mall? Yeah. I remember. It's one of my favorite memories. <laughs> yeah? You were terrified of him. <laughs> Dad? Must have gone out. Boys. Boys. Dad? Did you? Listen to what they're saying. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm again repeating a piece of news this morning that may sound incredible, but I assure you it is true. This morning, astronomers and casual observers alike are reporting that there is a new celestial object that has appeared overnight bright enough to be seen by the plain human eye, even in the early morning light. 
this comes following the news that families around the world have been celebrating Christmas as if Santa was still with us today. And made gifts, made with each of our talents, the way he would want it.